Welcome to a special salty edition of Our Story, A New View. You may not know it, but September 19th is International Talk Like a Pirate Day. And it's a day made to talk like a pirate. And it's fun, too. Har, har, har. Now, we're not going to promote the deviltry and debauchery and other such going-ons that are involved with pirates. It's more involved with just promoting, well, silliness. (laughs) <laughs> Much like a very world-famous Fairmont Fruitcake Follies Day. Avast, let's weigh anchor buckos and cast off for a new view of pirate speak. First of all, you have to know how to talk like a pirate. So, when you do it, you have to have the gravelly voice. That makes you sound much more like a pirate. If you'd like to add an earring or a headband, maybe even an eye patch, it'll just add to the effect and make everything sound that much better. But let's get into some of the basics quickly so that on Talk Like a Pirate Day, whether it's now or any time in the future when the International Talk Like a Pirate Day comes up, you'll be well equipped to use your pirate vocabulary and, ah, talk like a pirate. First off, let's go with the five basics. You'll remember them because they all start with an A. The first one is ahoy. Ahoy means hello. So that's very easy. You see a friend walking down the street, Ahoy there, Bob, or Ahoy, Jim, or Ahoy there, Peg Leg Willie, whatever his name may be, or hers as the case is. Ahoy is an easy one. No pirate would be complete without Ahoy in their vocabulary, but the next one, and almost as common and important, is Avast, and Avast means stop and pay attention, give attention. It's kind of like we might say, check it out, or no way, something like that. As an example, let me try this. Avast ye city council swabs, belay raising taxes, or wear the hempen halter. Arr. And that's a good example for you to use. Maybe applicable if you go to city council meetings. Anyway, let's move on. The next one in the basics, all pirates have to say, I. And I means, I totally and absolutely agree with whatever you just said or did. So, When your brother does something and he gets in big trouble, but it was hilarious, you can look at him and say, I, great idea, or something to that effect. Now, the next one is I, I, and I, I, where there's two of them, means I'll get right on that. Something like you might say if your wife tells you to take out the trash, you might say, I, I, as soon as the Vikings score another touchdown which would really get you out of taking out the trash for a long time. Anyway, let's move to the next, next A in our five basic pirate terms that you need to have in your pirate vocabulary, and that is probably the most universal and useful one to, to have in your arsenal if you ever don't know what to say, and it's simply R. And it can be R, and not to be confused with ARG, which is the sound you make when you sit on a belaying pin or your sword. It's R, not with the hard G-H. Now, that can mean anything from yes or even that Dave Smith's very funny. Do you like that new view show with Dave Smith on it? R, And that means he's hilarious and he should be paid mountains and buckets and boatloads of money for doing that show. Anyway, let's move on to a few more to advance our pirate vocabulary. The next one's a real handy one to have around, and it's the term you've probably heard, bilge rat. The bilge is the lowest, nastiest, smelliest part of the ship, and because of that, the rats that live there are the lowest, nastiest, smelliest things that you can have around. So, if you want, I want to encourage you actually to use this on family and friends, especially on Talk Like a Pirate Day. Don't use it on your boss, though, such as I'll be about your business later, ye scurfy bilge rat. That might get you walking the plank, if you know what I'm saying. The next term that you want to use also starts with a B. Pirates are very simple, and maybe that explains why they get to the A's and the B's, and after that, there's not too many terms. But anyway, bunghole. The bunghole is the barrel stopper. So, since the bung is the barrel stopper, the bung hole is the hole in the barrel that they carried all of their food and drinks and things around with on the ship. So, uh, it's very important to know that on Talk Like a Pirate Day, that 
you use this as much as possible, especially if you have a get together, say like a, a dinner to honor that day. You might say something like, well, me hearties, let's see what crawled out of the bunghole. And at that time, you might notice some people slide back from the table and excuse themselves. But that's all right, because that means that there's more for you then. Let's move along to another one. The next term, and you may have heard this before, but I want you to use it properly. It's lubber. And the word lubber just comes from a mangled pirate version of the word lover, as in land lubber or land lover. It's always an insult in a room where people are talking like pirates. So you're, next, if you're not a lubber if you're talking like a pirate, though. So at any time, use that term on your friends or anyone on Talk Like a Pirate Day. You call them a lubber, a land lubber, a pork lubber, I don't know, but call them a lubber and you will have passed off an insult on a day like Talk Like a Pirate Day. Finally, one more term that you might use to kind of counter all of that, and it's bucko. If you say, ahoy me bucko, you're saying, howdy friend, if you were a southerner maybe. So anyway, that's uh, plenty to get you started on Talk Like a Pirate Day. Watch for it every September 19th. And you know what? It's more paratitude than anything else. So maybe you can have your own Talk Like a Pirate Day any day that you'd like to suit up and get the gravel in your voice and grab a, grab a mug of grog and go for it in your own home. And you'll have just the terminology to do it. So that's all that I have on this uh, edition of New View and Ahoy, from Dave Smith, your piratical host.